So here it is, it's finally arrived. My first pack of Sanyo Eneloop third generation batteries. Uh, I've got uh, first and second generation, but third generation have only just become available in Europe, so it seems. Uh, they've been out in Japan for, well, it would appear almost a year, but uh, finally they're here. So what's different about third generation? compared with the previous versions. Well, if you look up in the top left hand corner, these have up to uh, 1800 recharge or charge and discharge cycles. The second generation was up to 1500. So there's been a little bit of a performance boost there. And then if you read the orange line here, it says retains 70% of the capacity after five years. Well, the second generation Eneloops had 70% after three years, so another little kick in performance. And um, what's interesting is that these batteries no longer state that the capacity is 2000 milliamp hours. You can see here, just about, that they now just say you get a minimum of 1900 milliamp hours. Nowhere does it say anything about. 2000 milliamp hours. So they're being careful here, they're just quoting the minimum. Um, so I'm interested to know, let's have a look at this pack. Yeah, so we've got a date here of 2012.06, so June 2012. So these have been knocking around for about five or six months. So it'd be interesting to see what these actually have in terms of uh, capacity still in them or charge still in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in this. PowerX uh, battery charger which has a discharge mode which will just literally drain these four batteries uh, from brand new and give me the result on the screen of uh, what, uh, how many amp hours that uh, it's managed to get out of them and it runs them down to I think it's 0.9 of a volt and that's when it classes them as uh, empty so we'll see what the milliamp hour number is when that happens. So what I'll do is I'll um, come back in a day or so and uh, put the results of the uh, Eneloop discharge test onto, uh, onto the end of this video. So the uh, four brand new third generation Eneloops are now fully discharged and the capacities were 1401, 1397, 1389 and 1398. So all almost identical to each other, but quite a lot lower than the 1900 milliamp hour minimum specification. And I can only assume that that's because they're either not fully pre-charged at the factory or that they did lose a bit of charge in the six months that they were sitting in their packaging. Um, but there is one other thing. I sort of accidentally set the discharge current to 300 milliamps which is fairly high and uh, perhaps uh, it was a bit too high and I noticed when they were discharging they were getting a little bit warm sort of mildly warm but the point is if heat was being generated then energy of course was being lost as heat and not being um, lost into the load so uh, that might possibly explain it Anyway, that's the end of the, uh, the discharge test.